The destruction of Russian S-400s made it possible for Ukraine to strike Crimea more effectively. On the night of September the 13th to the 14th, Ukraine destroyed key elements of the Russian S-400 Triumph Air Defense Complex in Yevpatoria, Crimea, the second of two similarly successful operations in Ukraine. Prior to that, on August the 23rd, key elements of the same system, including a radar and S-400 launcher, were destroyed near the peninsula's Cape Tarkankut. According to key post-media outlet, Russia now faces a hole in its air defense system in Crimea, which may have enabled Ukraine to attack the dry dock of Sevastopol shipyard, where two vessels of the Russian Black Sea Fleet were undergoing repairs. These were the large Russian landing ship Minsk and the Rostov-on-Don submarine, latterly capable of carrying four caliber missiles that could be targeted on Ukraine. According to reports from Ukrainian intelligence, the vessels may not be salvageable due to severe damage causing severe headaches for the Kremlin. All these events are undoubtedly connected. After the destruction of important Russian defense complexes, Ukraine has been able to inflict more strikes on Russian military facilities in Crimea. Damage to the enemy's air defense systems will likely have a knock-on effect on wider activity in occupied Crimea. Indeed, it could be a prelude to the destruction of the Russian Black Sea Fleet altogether. When S-400 systems were damaged in Crimea, their radar stations were knocked out. This made the launchers blind since information about targets comes to the command center from the radar stations. Damage or destruction of the radar therefore paralyzes the operation of the entire complex. The situation for the Russians may become more complicated when Ukraine receives the US ballistic missiles ATA CMS. It is quite possible that the S-400 will not be effective enough when used to shoot down such short-range ballistic missiles.